um, it's with great sadness and a heavy heart that we went to see the Prime Minister yesterday afternoon to advise him uh, that in our judgment uh, he no longer enjoyed the support of a majority of uh, members in the Liberal Party party room and that it was in the best interest of the Liberal Party uh, for the Prime Minister to help uh, manage an orderly transition uh, to uh, a, a new leader. Um, the reason uh, we came uh, to that view is because of the uh, number of colleagues that came uh, forward uh, who supported uh, Malcolm in the uh, leadership ballot uh, on Tuesday, who indicated to us uh, that they uh, had changed uh, their position. Um, this morning, uh, we, I should say that uh, yesterday, having provided uh, that advice, um, I did uh, ask the Prime Minister whether uh, he wanted me to resign, which at that point he declined. Uh, we have uh, had a further meeting with the Prime Minister uh, this morning. Uh, all three of us uh, to uh, confirm uh, that we believe that there should be a party room meeting to resolve uh, the issue of the leadership of the Liberal Party to provide certainty around uh, the uh, support for uh, the leader of the uh, parliamentary uh, Liberal Party and uh, all of us uh, tendered our uh, resignation uh, to the Prime Minister. Uh, we, do, uh, we are very conscious of the uh, seriousness of uh, the decision that we've made. We didn't uh, take this decision lightly. It's, I've um, personally, and I know that my colleagues uh, also, uh, have anguished uh, over this uh, for some time. Uh, the, the, I, the, the Prime Minister, since uh, he was uh, elected uh, leader of the Liberal Party in September 2015, has had my uh, loyal and unequivocal support all the way through. Uh, I have worked, my colleagues have worked, Peter Dutton uh, has worked really hard to do the best we can uh, to help uh, the Turnbull government uh, be uh, successful. Uh, I did not want to be uh, here in this position. Uh, I did not know that there was uh, going to be uh, a motion from the Prime Minister to declare uh, the leadership positions vacant uh, on Tuesday. I, like others, uh, was taken by surprise um, and I guess the reason we are here now is because that crystallised uh, the uh, uh, views of the party room at that point uh, and in the context of uh, uh, a number of colleagues, including uh, five cabinet ministers uh, who supported Malcolm uh, on a Tuesday, indicating uh, to me that they were of the view that there needed to be a change in the leadership of the Liberal Party. Uh, I um, ha have come to the view that we needed to provide the advice to the Prime Minister that we did. Uh, I really do hope that this uh, can be uh, resolved uh, swiftly. Um, as I've indicated, uh, if, I mean, if we've tendered our resignations, if my judgment on this is wrong, uh, I will go to the back bench and remain uh, on the back bench. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, you know, a very uh, clear decision that I've made. Senator Cooley. No, sorry, if, if I may ask Mitch and Michaela to say something. Uh, thanks, Matthias. Um, I have uh, been with and uh, supported uh, the Prime Minister uh, through uh, the entirety uh, of uh, his time in that office uh, up to uh, and including Tuesday. Uh, but uh, what has become uh, apparent is that uh, a majority uh, of uh, party room colleagues uh, believe that there should be uh, a transition. Uh, as Matthias said, uh, we met with the Prime Minister uh, yesterday to convey that advice uh, and uh, confirm that again uh, this morning. Uh, in that circumstance, uh, I believe that there should be a party room meeting. Uh, what needs to happen is that uh, this issue is resolved. Uh, we uh, cannot uh, allow uh, this situation to continue. Uh, it does need to be resolved. Uh, these are uh, difficult circumstances and uh, what our focus on uh, is uh, to endeavour to uh, achieve a resolution as quickly as possible. I too have supported the Prime Minister since his election to office. Uh, I too supported the Prime Minister in the ballot on Tuesday. I became aware yesterday that it was very clear that the Prime Minister no longer, in my opinion, had the confidence of the party room. 
I too met with the Prime Minister yesterday afternoon and I advised him of this and I urged him to call a party room meeting. My opinion in that regard has not changed overnight. I have also met again with the Prime Minister this morning and again advised him that I do not believe he has the confidence of the party room and that this matter must be settled and a party room meeting must be called. I too have tendered my resignation. Senator Cormann, do you believe, Senator Cormann, do you believe that Peter Dutton is the best person to take the coalition to the next election? Uh, yes, I do. What's the comment? Did the Prime Minister give you a today is he going to call a party room meeting or is he resisting? I'm not going to speak on behalf of the Prime Minister. I can only speak on my own behalf. Uh, in uh, my view, uh, it would be in the interest of the Liberal Party, in the interest of the country, uh, for a party room meeting uh, to be called swiftly for, this, for the issue of the leadership of the Liberal Party and the leadership of the country to be resolved as soon as possible. Are you concerned that your leader of choice, Peter Dutton, could end up in the High Court? That is a matter for others. Are you concerned that your leader of choice, Peter Dutton, could end up in the High Court? Uh, uh, Peter Dutton is a validly elected member of parliament, that's a destruction. Senator, what do you say to those who believe this is a disaster for the Liberal Party and another change is an embarrassment for the country? I did not uh, want to be in this position. Uh, I have loyally supported Malcolm Turnbull since he was elected leader of the Liberal Party. Uh, I was uh, wanting to continue to support uh, Malcolm Turnbull uh, for years to come uh, as leader of the Liberal Party, but I can't ignore reality. Uh, when I have uh, five cabinet colleagues uh, telling me that they supported uh, Markham uh, on Tuesday, uh, excluding me, five cabinet colleagues excluding me, telling me that they supported Markham on uh, Tuesday, but that they've changed their position, uh, that is not something that I can uh, ignore. And uh, I mean, I took it upon myself yesterday, and it was a very, it was a very difficult thing to do um, initially on my own and subsequently uh, together with uh, Senators Fifield and Cash, uh, we uh, advised the Prime Minister of our judgment that he no longer enjoyed majority support in the party room and um, that we believed that uh, we needed to, uh, that he needed to facilitate an orderly transition and that we should have a party room meeting. Now that has not yet occurred, but I hope it will occur soon. Does so that give you a better chance of winning the next election and why? Uh, well, look, I mean, uh, I let Peter Dutton uh, talk for himself. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, we've made that judgment and, uh, you know, this is now a matter for the party. What has he done, sir? Do you have a gauge no. on the numbers for those who share your... Well, we've, we've made a judgment that, in, in our view, uh, there is majority support in the party room for change. Uh, and, uh, you know, in those circumstances, uh, we decided on this course of action. What has he done wrong? Why can't he do this Prime Minister? You are minding him now. What has he done that has been a failure as a no. Prime Minister? Um, I, I believe that Malcolm Turnbull uh, has been and is a great Prime Minister. Uh, I believe uh, that uh, he will go down in history as having uh, secured amazing achievements for Australia. I, there's no question that uh, Malcolm Turnbull's plan uh, for the economy, for jobs, uh, for, um, in relation to our national security, uh, that we all have been part of implementing, uh, has left the country stronger and in a better position. If I may finish, but I can't ignore the fact that uh, a majority of uh, colleagues in the Liberal Party party room uh, are of the view that there should be a change. And uh, I mean, I would not have been in this position uh, if uh, we uh, didn't have the vote on Tuesday followed by a stream of colleagues approaching me uh, to express that view to me very clearly. Is it time to tell Australians, sick and tired of parties dumping prime ministers, that you will reform your party's leadership uh, changeover provisions such that this doesn't happen again? Well, in our democracy, in our Westminster system-based uh, democracy, uh, heads of government uh, have to have the support of their parliamentary party membership. So we have to put up with this? Well, uh, again, I mean, this is now a matter for the parliamentary... What is it about Peter Dutton's character that you believe, sorry, Senator, uh, well, and that you believe he will have sufficient broad support in the Australian people to actually win the next election? Look, I'm not here to run a campaign for Peter Dutton. Let me also say that neither, none, of us, no, well, none, of, none of us, none of us were part of any uh, conspiracy, none of us were part of uh, any process, none of us have 
been part of circulating uh, petitions. Uh, we are here because we formed the judgment and we have acted on that judgment. Thank you. Senator, Thank you. Senator, Thank you. Senator, Thank you. Senator,